Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you my five favorite nude lip products. I have glosses, lipsticks, liners from all different price points. I am super excited because I am a nude lippy junkie. It is what I reach for the most out of everything. And if you have watched my channel before, you know I love nothing more than a good, solid nude liner and an awesome gloss. So I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite products, my favorite combos, and believe it or not, out of my entire collection, I have narrowed it down to five different combinations. So let's just go ahead and jump into it and let's talk about some beautiful nude lip products. All right, so the first item I want to give some love to is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Matte. Line. This is one of my all-time favorite, all-time, all-time favorite lip gloss shades. This pairs well with pretty much any nude lip liner. It really would work beautifully on really any skin tone. But I do want to mention, especially if you have a skin tone similar to me, like light, medium, medium tan, and you have golden olive undertones, these nudes are going to look beautiful on you. Trust me. And if you own any of these or if you end up trying any of them out, please comment down below. Contact me on Instagram. I would love to hear your thoughts. I love hearing from you guys. So let me go ahead and swatch this one. The NYX Butter Glosses are just fantastic for the price. Last winter, I picked up one of their Lippy Advent Calendars and that was like the best investment I ever made. It was filled with all of their different lip products from matte to glosses to satin to suede. It was a really cool way to kind of like introduce yourself to NYX and some of their lip products because they really do nail it with their lip products. But here's what that gloss looks like swatched. It is gorgeous. Please ignore the <laughs> eyeshadow swatch on my hand. I thought I got it all, but I must not have. But it is just a beautiful, beautiful lip gloss. Moving on to the next products from Wayne Goss. These two right here, and this is actually the combination that I have on my lips today. I am obsessed. In fact, I think this is what I've been wearing the most. This is just the combination that I've just been so into recently. This is the Essential Lip Pencil in the shade Vintage Pink. So I line my lips. You know I gotta overline because I want my lips looking nice, plump, and juicy. I will fill in my lips with the liner, and then I will go ahead and top it with the Wayne Gloss high shine lip gloss in the shade tulip this combination is just to die for let me swatch for you i am obsessed with this lip liner this is one liner that again i have been reaching for and really can top with any gloss sometimes i reach for the butter gloss and madeline sometimes i reach for wayne goss but overall it's just the perfect lip pencil if you can see this combination, because the liner is just slightly darker than the gloss, and it just looks, I'm telling you, as you can see, at least I think so anyway, the most stunning combination. So, so good. I remember when I reviewed these recently or a couple months ago or whatever that was when they launched, and I put this on my lips, I just stopped right there and I was like, this is it. This is the combination that I have just been looking for my entire adult life. <laughs> like this is just the most perfect lip combo. It's not too pink, it's not too caramely, and it just looks effortless and beautiful and goes with really any eye look, gorgeous, no makeup makeup days. You just really cannot you cannot go wrong with this. Now, I do want to give some love to one more Wayne Goss item. This is one of his luxury lipsticks in the shade Daisy. Again, this is another one that looks beautiful with either that gloss in the shade Tulip Top on top of it or with the vintage pink lip liner. This shade is just absolutely stunning. It really is the perfect light, mid-tone, beigey, pinky nude so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So there it is right there. Gorgeous. I think that he recently restocked some of these shades. I'm not quite sure if this one ever sold out. I think it did, but I will link all of the products in the description box below if you're interested in trying any of these out. But yeah, look at these all. Look at these so far. This lineup here. This is all-star gorgeous. The next two items I want to give some love to are from Makeup Forever. These are the Artist Color Pencils. If you haven't tried these out, you have to. Like this is one of those things that I will tell you is a must-have. The cool thing about these is that you can use them on your eyes as well. They're eye safe, lip safe. In fact, you can really put them anywhere. So if you're more into artistry makeup, you can definitely put these to other use. But I use them as lip pencils for the most part. These two shades right here are absolute perfection. I have Wherever Walnut 
And then I also have completely sepia. Now for being wood pencil liners, they're really not drying at all. I know it is kind of a common thing for wood liners to tend to pull more dry or can dry out the lips, but I honestly don't feel that way about these at all. Let me go ahead and swatch each one of these. I need to sharpen them so badly. As you can tell, I use the crap out of them. So the top one is going to be wherever walnut, and then the second swatch is gonna be completely sepia. So there they are right there. Those are the two swatches. Just absolutely gorgeous. Again, these are two shades that I really think any skin tone can pull off. So gorgeous, they're not dusty, they're not too warm or too cool. They are just very mid-tone, perfect, your lips but better shades. They are fantastic and they last a long time. I have used the crap out of these and I've only had to sharpen them a few times and I still have so much product left. I think when I picked these up, Sephora was running a crazy sale on them. I think I honestly got these for like nine bucks a piece. I also picked up a red one as well, which that one is gorgeous if you want like a red lip. But for the sake of nudes, these two shades right here just get the job done. They're long wearing, they stay in place, they don't feather or anything, and they wear beautifully as well. Worth every penny, even full price. But if you can catch them on a sale, you need to pick up multiple shades because they are just, they're that good. They're that good. Now the last lip product is from ColourPop. This is one of their Just a Tints. This is something that I have talked about on my channel several times before. If you are someone who doesn't like to fuss with lipstick or you worry about it like smudging, you don't wanna think about what it's looking like when you're eating, or if you're in a position where you just literally can't apply it often, this is a product that you are going to absolutely love. It is extremely hydrating. They smell like apricot. They've got this nice twist bottom so you don't have to really worry about sharpening it or anything like that. And because it is like a jumbo pencil, you can line the lips with this nicely as well. So you can keep everything in the lines, fill in the lips, and again, it just wears beautifully. Now this is in the shade Gimme S'more. This is my favorite shade out of all of the ones that I have tried. It is just the perfect nude, obviously, since we're talking about nude lipsticks. So there it is right there. Can you guys tell that I very clearly have a type by looking at all of these products here? But like, look at this. So pretty. I am obsessed. When they launched these, I was like, this is the best product that ColourPop has launched in a long time, and it does belong in their all-star lineup of their products. To me, this is like a must-have. If you guys wanna see me do like a ColourPop must-haves video, leave a comment down below because I have quite the collection of ColourPop. They're one of my favorite brands, and obviously, the best thing about it is not only do they work extremely well, their products, but they're extremely affordable as well. So I do have one other bonus lipstick that I do wanna talk about. This is from Charlotte Tilbury, another product that if you are not new to my channel, I'm sure you've heard me talk about this one before. This is one of her hot lips in the shade Kim KW. This was one of the first like high-end products that I ever really purchased for myself. I think these retail for like $32. I'm actually running kind of low you guys this is running low for me on a lip product I have so much lipstick and lip gloss and liners believe it or not this is like almost hitting pan for me and that shows you how much I truly love this lipstick it is like a really pale peachy pink it kind of falls right between warm and cool tone but oh my goodness is this just killer on the lips it just gives me like old school Hollywood glam vibes. This is another one that really wears beautifully and feels nourishing and hydrating on the lips. It doesn't feather, it doesn't settle into fine lines, it doesn't exaggerate anything on the lips. It just feels comfortable and beautiful. And I don't know what the scent is, almost like a vanilla sweet scent, it's very faint but it smells delicious and I absolutely love it. And can we talk about the packaging? absolutely gorgeous. Now the ColourPop Luxe lipsticks, their traditional bullet lipsticks, I would say are a pretty close dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips lipsticks. Not all of the shades are obviously the exact same, and to be honest with you, I have yet to really find a true dupe for this shade. So please let me know if you have found a dupe for Kim KW, because honestly, I have yet to really find a lipstick that looks close enough to this where I could say, yep, pick that up instead. No need to spend the 30 some odd dollars on the Charlotte Tilbury. I just have yet 
to find that myself. So there it is. Those are my five favorite nude lip products. These are must-haves to me. I think that you will absolutely love them, and I hope that this helped you discover maybe some lip products that you just haven't had a chance to try out yet. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite nude lipsticks are or just your favorite ride or die lipstick shade in general. And also I want to know, are you more of a traditional lipstick, liquid matte lipstick, or a lip gloss kind of gal? I would love to hear from you guys. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, share it, and of course please be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. You know I love you so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys!